Hello, and welcome to Bespoke Unit. My name is Rafael, and as you can see, I am back here today with a ton of watches, and it's all for show, because I'm not gonna use them, and that's because I'm gonna be reviewing just one watch, and it's what's on my wrist, this Seiko SKX-011J. Now, the J means it's made in Japan. There's versions that are made outside of Japan. They're pretty much all the same. Nevertheless, I'm gonna be breaking this guy down and going over pretty much every aspect, so stay tuned. Okay, so I've gone ahead and cleared the table and now we can get up close and personal with the Seiko SKX-011J, which naturally you can see here on my wrist now. Do want to point out that view right there just so you can get an idea how tall this watch stands on the wrist it's really not a small watch or at least not on my wrist um not super super oversized either but again it does wear larger however the dimensions and i'll get into the specifics of those in a second they're quite proportional i mean again i'm used to more of a 40 millimeter my daily wear is a 40 millimeter this is closer to 43 and I don't think it looks that large. It does this rubber strap that the watch is sold on does, you know, kind of increase the long dimension, if you will, but it does make it super proportional and it makes it wear very, very well. Now let me go ahead and take this off and get a closer look. Now, officially, or at least on paper, this is often sold as a 43 millimeter watch. If I try to get some dimensions here, of that nine to three let's see what we get here with our trusty calipers now generally i do measure these at 42.5 that seems to be about right however of course with that four o'clock crown you know it can vary now lug to lug this is supposed to be 46 again with this strap it's kind of difficult let me do my best here Okay, yeah, I think I'm getting a little less, but because the strap doesn't really allow me to get a lug to lug there. And 13.4 as far as thickness. So again, not a small watch, but it does wear it very well. Now, of course, as you can see, this is a stainless steel case. We have a brushed finish on the tops of the lugs and polished mirror polish here on the side of the case, the crown guards and the crown itself. Now, this is gonna be a diver's bezel. So of course, rotates unidirectionally. It does have some nice knurling here that helps you get a better grip. Looking a bit closer at the bezel, you can see we have an aluminum insert that is black with gold printing. And of course, our traditional SKX loom pip there at the large index. Now this crystal, is going to be Hardlex. That's a Seiko proprietary material, but it is scratch proof and shatterproof. One thing I do like to note about the SKX is you can see that there's a bit of a channel here surrounding the crystal and in between the crystal and the bezel, which adds, you know, a bit of texture there that I kind of become a big fan of, especially when you catch it in the light. I don't know, it's just another layer of depth there, let's say. Moving in a bit closer to the dial, it is this very loud, very bright and it'll definitely catch your attention I mean, what i've been calling a signal orange it doesn't have any bit of a finish it's more flat but looks great now obviously a fully loom dial let's see how much of that we can you can see that the pip and the bezel is also loomed not getting a lot here just because it's bright out but again you will not have any issue with legibility at night now Notice that while the indices have a black outline, they're pretty much printed or painted on the dial itself. They do match, of course, the bezel, the black minute markings there on the internal rehot, and that contrasting seconds hand there beating away at center axis. Um, also at center axis, of course, polished and hands also fully loomed, and they have a yellow gold tint or color, let's say probably a coating, that matches our bezel insert here. Continuing on to the movement, this Seiko SKX is gonna be powered by the 7S26. So that's a self-winding 
unfortunately no hand winding so even though I have the crown I've unscrewed it because this crown screws into the case that's what allows the piece to have the 200 meter water resistance fortunately it doesn't have self winding so usually you would have hand winding here it does have self winding not hand winding um, you'd be able to wind the movement here at this position which is position zero position two lets you change the time and position one date and day now you can see this being a dual language version and of course the weekends have different colors um, one more thing on the movement again the 7s26 is going to have about a 40 hour power reserve so again pretty standard unfortunately we can't get a look at it because this is a solid case back however it is nice to get an idea of the detail there it looks like embossed a wave pattern does mention Japan once more here and these is the the Japan the J versions the made in Japan versions are going to say it at the bottom of the tile and they're also going to have that 21 jewels there on the tile printed on the dial itself now onto the strap do you believe this Seiko SKX 011 is only sold or at least from the manufacturer on this rubber strap this traditional Oh, probably well known or easily recognized now SKX strap with this wave motif it does have some nice texture here on the bottom nice large oversized keeper if you will and a brushed steel clasp again this is a large strap I would say a large part of wearing this watch is being a fan of this strap which I originally was not but the more I wore it it did grow on me and I've come to like it, not necessarily prefer it, but the good thing about the SKX is, is that you can very easily change the strap, perhaps for a NATO. Now, there's tons of aftermarket bracelets that are offered for this piece. So if you're like me, maybe this wave is a little too much or a little too large on your wrist, as you saw. It does stand out while it does wear well. It's not my uh, ideal size, let's say. It's a little larger, but again, super, super easy to change the strap on it. I do want to mention that this movement, actually should have mentioned earlier, but it doesn't have hacking seconds aside from not having the hand winding function. It doesn't have hacking seconds. So you can see here, I've pulled the crown out to position two and the seconds hand is ticking away now. Would this watch be a significantly better timepiece if it did have that function? Not necessarily. This is more of a workhorse, horse, workhorse movement rather than a chronometer spec or a super accurate movement. So it, it, it works well, it's, it's enough for what it is. There you have it. That's my review of the popular Seiko SKX 011. If that left you with any questions or comments, make sure to leave them in the section below. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video or found it helpful and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. If you're looking for pricing on this guy, check the links in the description. I can't tell you a number right now because by the time that I filmed this and uploaded, it, it's probably gonna have changed. And seeing as how this guy's discontinued, it's more than likely gonna have gone up. Anyways, I'm Rafael, this is Bespoke Unit. Thanks for watching.